Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Galaxy of Metal. It's Empires of the Void 2nd Edition. Empires of the Void 2? Mmm. Dos. Yep. I'm here with the 7th Academy of Eeg and the Legions of Decima. Yep. I, of course, am the Nomads of Earth. We wrecked it. We ruined it. Don't ask how, but I think you can see what's how you know how we got it there. Because you ginger. If you follow <laughs> current, if, if you follow current events, you'll know how we got there. To be fair, your player board looks pretty bad. That's just a desert. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's pretty right. barren. Yep, we wrecked it. Which is also quite funny because it's like people with like really pale skin and freckles in the desert is just going to be painful. Yeah, that's why we left. <laughs> yeah, they ran out of suntan cream. Okay, so active player. Yeah. Also, what I should have done last game was actually put down a control token on this planet. Oh. So, very wise decision because money. You know, so now I can research and build. What cool. will you research? What will I research? What will I build? Who knows these things? Well, um, I do. <laughs> so, geez, there's so much metal on the board. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of us are running out of metal anytime soon. Although life forms might be very difficult. So, well, my problem is that uh, I want to build some stuff, but... If I put metal down, I'm worried that there might not be any more metal coming out. Yeah, and then you're because it's on. Then it's I'm screwed because I can't get any more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's already all on the board. Um, but I would like to build a building on this planet where I am. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do. Oh God, you guys! Oh God, the analysis paralysis <laughs> is kicking in already. I'm already on episode two. <laughs> yeah, the beginning of episode two. I like this pick up on good while moving thing, but it means moving around a lot. Oh yeah, because you're going to stay stationary in this game, really. Maybe. Really? I don't know, man. Who knows? Uh, but the thing is, as well, like it's, it's. I've got to actually. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look at your cards and think how to win. Actually, no, don't do that. Because <laughs> you're very good at doing that. <laughs> um, Why am I telling him how to do this? Oh man, I forgot. I have to spend cards to. Research things, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone who's watched that show can not do that when they hear that start. <laughs> yeah. It's like some deep psychometric reaction. So, I think this one goes down here. This goes down on scavenging bots. Ooh. I'll pick up one good while moving and I think the metal is going to go here into cities to help me build cities and then cities are built with metal I think I'm going to actually build a city cool here ah so he's managed to do it quite cheaply we built this city on so then I can build that for five not quite metal um, <laughs> and I must discard a power so we can put as many of those down a turn as we like in the research. Yeah, provided we've got them. Oh, cool. That was going to be one of my questions. Um, we built this So I'm discarding this one. We built this city. To pay for that. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's this guy so, over there. So, yeah, I'll just put it Good. next to it. And I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. You done? I, well, I could, but the thing is I've got five money, which is not enough to build anything, so I'm totally done. Yep. Okay. All done. Hmm. Over to Michael. Um, While you're uh, thinking and talking people through what you think about, can mm -hmm. I have the rule book? <laughs> you may. <laughs> Sir. So I definitely learned this game beforehand, but it... it it's a beast of a rule book, to be fair. A There's a lot to remember. All right. So what Which you will know from uh, Mike's Setup and Rules video. <laughs> mm. um, so, what I was thinking of doing is, um, I was thinking of using my metal, as you know, as I've got a plethora of it, an mm. abundance um, and I need to get rid of it guess who likes metal um, <laughs> <gasps> you philistine <laughs> maybe they can do house metal I'm pretty sure they do I'm probably sure it's they do probably a thing comment if there is and you know what it is um, and then recommend some good bands yeah not the bad ones just the good ones don't want to know about the bad ones and then if they're good I'll give you some ready to play points <laughs> those are very valuable points are you just going to give them away to anyone pretty Only much if they're good 
Um, because I was, th- <laughs> I was thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm on the same lines as Mike. Really, I, um, I think I'm going to do clerking. Um, that does that, seem really good. That allows me to ignore hazards mm-hmm. yeah. as I'm traveling across the board. Uh, as you can see, there's like this. Who, who, no one wants to get a hug from a space octopus. <laughs> um, space octopus. And then there's some mines, and it will just allow my movement around those the board. Are mines? I thought those were the enemy fleet. No, it's definitely mines. Uh, uh, space mines. I figured the two glowing eyes. Were are they popular. cloaking regenerating mines? Uh, I know the reference, but I don't know why you went so obscure. <laughs> it's not obscure. Um, Although that's the only example of space mines I can think of. Off the top of my head. Uh, um, no, there must be more. There's got to be more. I mean, there's enough space shows from the '90s that had like a space station attacked. Yeah. Um, there must. There must be. So, well, what do you think about that, Michael? What's well, I've already on put here? one on. So, so you're doing I'm, I'm definitely houses. going to do that. So yeah. I'm going to have to spend. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of using my uh, metal on um, one of these three to build some things because I've only got seven coins. I've not got the um, additional three that those guys had. So I'm on um, lower money. Less. Uh, Yes. But you can still build a building. I can, but what I was thinking was um, which one to put it on so I don't have to pay as much. Um, so I can't really... I, I can only build something on my ship uh, because I haven't got a planet, planet yet. Um, so I was probably going to um, build a base. And I'll stick that there. I'll put this base on my world ship, ship. So uh, and I'll put it on my um, empty one. Empty one here. Yeah. So bases are kind of cool because they give you an extra dice to roll. So by being on his world ship, that means if he gets in combat, he'll have four. So I'm going to have to use um, two, uh, two, not influence, two power, power. 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 Uh, two power. More two. power to the engines. Which is there. Oh. Power. Need power. And so I'll have to spend three, seven, uh, three, five, eight. Oh, man, I can't do that. <laughs> that's, what? That's upsetting. I was going to say. No, you don't spend that. No, this is this is the one. one you've just revealed. Oh, no, it is that one. No, it oh, God. Is. God, what are you guys doing? You yeah. don't spend that because that's the one you just revealed. So oh, it's I see. So it's five. Yeah. I, was, I know what I'm doing. I knew what he was doing was wrong, but I didn't see they'd already moved the thing. That's why I was confused. Uh. So, and that's me done. Right. Good, you managed it. <laughs> well done, me. <laughs> <laughs> I... yeah. Okay, so, um, I'm going to be after Warbots and Cloaking, because that seems pretty awesome. Good lord. Good what? lord. So, I need to give up three so far. Um, I am also going to put down... Da, 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 da. Some metal. 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 Ooh. Metal. I should probably not do. I that need to stop. Often. I need to stop looking at you when you do that. Me. Yeah. I, I'm nearly caught. What you was on your. Yeah. Card. These cards are actually yeah. quite important that it's kept secret. Yeah. Yeah. Um, stop gonna, looking, Michael. I'm gonna put a base down Sorry. on these three. So still don't get any influence there, though, do I? What? No, you don't get influence for conquering them. I, I'm the most influential man on the planet right now. Yeah, but I'm in hate. charge. They don't like you. I don't care. <laughs> well, then they don't have to like me to be influenced by me. I say jump, and I say if you don't jump, I shoot every third one of you. They jump. That's influential. Right, but they still don't give you their ally token. No. Grr. <laughs> well, it's not worth conquering the bloody place. Well, you get to build a base there, though. It's all, it's about, all about the base. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I've done that, but that's going to co- cost me five because I put metal down on there, and I also had to give up this. 3-1, which... I will have the money. I will have the discard card. No. I will do everything. Wow. <laughs> I mean, as the person in the middle, unfortunately, it is my task to be admin man. Admin, admin, admin man. Admin administrator. Cool. Well, that's me. Because I've done my research. I could ignore hazards. Oh, and I've also got... Give me. Do I have to pay for them? You to have to recruit, recruit them as part of a recruit action. It so just allows you to recruit them. Cool. I want to be sure. Right, I'm orange. It's my go. Um, I don't believe in orange. It's just a bad shade of yellow. Yeah. A bit of red in it. <laughs> uh, so, this could be a silly move. But, I don't know. Um, 
Do you want money or do you not want money? Yeah, I'm going money. So, do you uh, have a card action that's worth it? No. Oh. Do you have any cards left? Uh, I do, but I don't have any action cards. Oh. And I'm quite happy with the cards that I've got. So I just wanted Fair the money. enough. So you did that just for the money? Uh-huh. I, okay. think it's, I think it might be important. So then it's on. Right. Um, because I don't have to do the action, do I? I have no. to pick one, but I don't have to do it. Well, you don't have to do it. Or if you're unable to do it, you can't do it. Indeed. Okay. And I can't do it. <laughs> you so, are. Really. I'm kind of... The annoying thing is I'm kind of tempted for diplomacy. Because I don't have a mission card. Yeah, because I got rid of it. an action card. That's the one. Um, so, to for diplomacy to work, I've got to discard a number of cards where their power then becomes the number I try to roll under or equal to. And if that works, I can place influence anywhere. Correct? It's a shitty way to get influence, yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, no, no, no. Da, da, da. do I want to do that? Or do I want to do something else for command points? So researching is not going to do any, any good. Uh, I could recruit, and I can't recruit from measles three, which is better. Even though I'm there. Better. 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 Could do That's move. me. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just realised I've got my cloaking devices so I could actually move through to there. A cloaking device? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ignore hazards. I have absolutely no idea how that allows me to ignore asteroids, but there you go. They're sentient asteroids and they don't like It's people. the cloaking device from the Pegasus. You know, the ship in the new next Star Trek The Next Generation that allows when it's cloaked it can move through solid objects. Pretty sure that's not cloaking, that's phasing out of reality. They call it a cloaking device. They can call it whatever they like, it's wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Dear <laughs> people who wrote Star Trek, Ollie disagrees with your made up bullshit sci fi terminology. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna pay two command, and I'm gonna do a recruit. Uh, so, uh, oh, uh, you're gonna yes. pay two to do any action. Yep. Yeah. So, um, does I that, see what you did. I'm not the active player, so I don't gain the empire cards. Correct. However, I can just buy people. Correct. Yep. So you know you can just buy uh, warbots or more people. people. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, a warbot is worth one dice and two, so I'm gonna buy. One of them. Nice. So, so there costs three. Three gold. Silver. Three space bucks. Yeah. Yay. Star bucks. Uh, I'm going to put him on my ship. <laughs> yep. Um, and then I've got two left. So I could buy a Starfarer and put him on Measle three. Could do. Could do. Might do. He knows what Might could not. do. He um, knows what do. Yeah, I will. So. I know what do. Very good. Very good. And then it's me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play this action card, uh, Arzos, wherein I roll a die, and if I get a three up, I get influence on Arzos. And that costs me two command points. Burp. Do you still have to um, do that if you don't get a three or higher? If I get a less than a three, I have to pay one credit, and then I only get one influence. Okay. Show me three up. Yes. Boop. Boop, boop. Uh, Arzos, right? Yep. Ooh, this is the good one. Look what it does. Look look how good it is. So this allows me to basically ignore the restriction on track upgrades, which you'll know about from my video, but if you don't, uh, you're locked into the same goods on each track. But also it allows me to hire Arzos mercenaries who are incredibly powerful, yeah. but also uh, they're really Bit expensive. expensive. <laughs> yeah, for that exact reason. Yeah, exactly. Powerful and expensive. Makes mm. sense. And so now I have... Control of that planet for the time being, and I'm, I'm good. Get rid of that card, sir. So, I, what card? Ah, oh, this one, yes. yes. Bye bye. Active player, back where it belongs. Back to Ollie. Ollie is now the active player. Mm. Uh, right. Well. I keep forgetting what this card does. <laughs> it's like, sorry, right, I've looked at this one do? six times. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it's something else. Um, okay, I think I. Because, you know, I've got no money and no command and not much else going for me. I think I'm going to. Refresh. Ooh. So give me five income, please, and give me three more of the five cards. And free. 
Three, yes. I have oh, a base hand. Of, yeah, I have a base hand of four now. So if one of these is an event card, I have to flip it over. Um, that it's not. So. No, no event cards. Okay, well I'm also going to uh, refresh. So I'm going to uh, gain six coins because I've built a city. Oh yeah. And That's I will cool. have two new cards. No event cards. And uh, then I will also Oops. Do reset my... Oh, God, I just spent that card. Reset oh, no. my command points. Hmm. Uh, oh, right, uh, reset my uh, I'm, um, I'm going to ignore you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to spend my thingy and move. Yep. So you spend one. Spend one. You can spend one per space you want to move. So, uh, so that costs you two command. No, one command. One, command. one command. Yep. So I get to see what it is. Yep, so you get those goods. Only if you stop here, though. If you want to keep moving, then you can't pick them up. But then I can't up. pick them up. Yeah, okay. correct. Oh. And you can't look up what they are either. I didn't see, didn't see. Okay. I know. Uh, <laughs> Just didn't and uh, do I want to move on one? Do I, do I, do I? No, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to move one and pick this pick this stuff up. <laughs> metal, I bet it's metal. If it's metal, I'll be so funny. No! Oh. It is... Um, an artifact. An, an artifact. Yeah, which just looks like a hunk of crystal, to be honest. Uh, and I also have a Hexite Mine. That goes on the planet. Yep, so that's on the planet, and if you control that planet, um, you get plus one... Income. Income. Is that plus one income, or just it gives you money now? No, that's going to be plus one income. I'm Put your almost sure of it, but give me the book. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, you, you put your box down. If you control this planet, you collect one credit when you gain income. Right. Nope. So not much good now, but good next time. If you get to keep it. Yeah, if you still got it. Cool. All right. Good. Me. I am now the active player. Mm -hmm. Do well, something active. <laughs> Quick, chin up. Hmm? Hmm? How did he hear that, but you didn't? Because <laughs> he's too busy... Thinking. No, it's because he ignores pretty much everything I say. <laughs> Understandable, I ignore at least mm. half of it. I mean, otherwise, I just never get through the day. So I think... I think I'm probably going on to, like, some kind of... Create... Go into the wormhole! <laughs> yeah. Um, I could. Ooh, that's one command. Where's he going to come out? To go into the wormhole. Well, there... Yeah. <laughs> There's not much mystery to it. Oh. This wormhole could take us anywhere. Oh, so here. what I'd really like to do actually is go into orbit on uh, Tanlock, but uh, I'm concerned about it because I have to pay to go through the um, the asteroid. asteroid belt. The other thing I'm going to do is actually leave my Starfarer and Starsleep here on... Oh, we can split up at any time? Whenever When you move, you select the units to move. Mm. So they're staying there. And I have to leave them in the Starsleep or else they'd be stuck there forever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so here we go. I need a three. So are, you, are you doing move and attack? Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you, Michael. Mm, I am doing move and attack. Yes. So I've made it through the asteroid belt. <laughs> I arrived at Tanlock. Cool. So I will uh, pick up a good. It's, a sh it's an artifact. And that costs me one command. And then I'll spend another command to continue on to this unidentified planet here. Boop, boop. And I have discovered on the unidentified planet a, a wormhole. wormhole. Hey. God damn it. <laughs> so oh. And also life forms. There is no interesting life form. Okay. Yep, over to you, Michael. Uh, so you're going to move. Okay. So, so it's move and attack. Yes. So I can only move one. I guess I've only got one thingy. Uh, but I will move into the planet. Mm. Uh, orbit or surface? If you go to the surface, you have to have a battle. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the attack. You're going for the battle on Centina. I, I am indeed. You guys are terrible people. You know that. <laughs> oh, shut up, human. You have no moral compass. Yeah, you don't even have a planet anymore. <laughs> so Michael will be dis fighting a Centenian, Centenian researcher mm -hmm. who has plus one defense. I love, I love the fact that it's the academy versus the researchers. No. <laughs> this is a ba they're act they're actually presenting research papers. Yes. What we're rolling for here is academic insight. <laughs> the thing the thing I love about it is 
my in my head they're fighting quite literally with knowledge. Yeah. So they're hitting each other on the head with words. So kind, kind of like um, Skyrim, where two dragons fight by having a conversation and a spirited debate. <laughs> So, so I get three dice. Uh, if two. you commit all of your people here, I do. Uh, you get three dice, and they've got two, uh, and they have two dice. Yes, yes. but so. you get plus one defense only. Cool. So this is simultaneous, but don't yep. roll them simultaneously, or we'll just get confused. Oh, he's got a six. So oh, that's good, Michael. That was a great roll. That was a great roll. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't matter. Damn it! We're all in the box, are we? Sorry. Always in the dice box. Six. <laughs> Ugh. Uh -oh. uh, and then the one random card time. here. Uh, so they've got plus one and plus one to their defense. So currently, Michael, they're beating you by one. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. So, so that's so. got to be at least a two. Are you ready? Yeah. Ollie, you can reveal. Three, three, three. Oh, it's a two. And a four. Ooh. Giving Michael a grand total of 11 to their 10. Michael wins <laughs> <laughs> by one. Jeez, you needed a four to win. I, I know, wait, right? Wait, 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 wait. I was like, There's Ollie decided to screw one, me over and get a six. One question. <laughs> six, eight, ten. Oh my god, they have one. plus one to defense. Eleven. In the, in battle, this unit gives you plus one if you were the defender. Ollie, we said, we said that they counted. <laughs> That's true. Oh well. So uh, I'm we get afraid. To keep that. Mm -hmm. You do get to keep that one, or you can discard it and choose a new one. It was a four, though, so yeah, I don't probably don't discard it. Sorry. <sighs> I then... Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's only got one. It's like, oh, I'll be sure I'll be able to defeat this. And Ollie goes and gets a six. <laughs> so what does that mean? Do I have to go back to where I came from? Uh, you No, you're kicked back to the nearest node. Which is the planet you conquered earlier. No, it's the, the node is this. I thought it was but I thought planet, it's, if you if I control. Something. Oh yes, that's right. Or a planet you control. That's right. Yeah. The node is only if you don't control the planet. Yeah, because you just get picked, yeah, you just get kicked into empty Thanks space. Thanks for keeping me honest, mm. you guys. So that was a waste of a go. I don't know. You can spend a command point and try again. I uh, haven't got any command point left. Oh, okay. Then yes. I don't know if you can do that, but that's something to look up later because yeah. uh, we're all out of time. Aww. So the active player is now Michael, and Yay. he's going to pick an action tomorrow on Registered Play. So I hope you'll come back to the <laughs> galaxy of metal to find out what happens then. Metal! Metal! Mm. Bye. How's metal? <laughs> <laughs>